Oh, I'm excited. This is pretty. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Is there other worlds? <laughs> no. If you beat this one, you go to world two. After you make it. <laughs> Scare faster! Oh, I had that. Go again. I'm pretty good at Mario, I'll tell you that. Accelerates pretty quickly. It's not kind of. There's not really much of a learning curve. <laughs> you won. Oh, it's going to leave that. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> I did it. So this is the video game in a box. When you pull the handle, there's a servo under here that's opening the lid of the box. And then there's a knob on the side that controls the movement of the character. So um, if you hit something, it closes the box and the game starts over. Um, but actually we can look inside here. What's really going on is so underneath this, on the back side, um, you can see it's it's a scrolling wheel that has all of these characters on the, the level. Each of these is actually a magnet, so it's just a piece of magnetic tape uh, with the bad guy on it. So there's one servo here. This is a continuous rotation servo, so it spins the, the background. And then the little arm up front here is a servo that moves your character up and down. So you can see it's actually just a piece of like a soda straw um, with a magnetic sensor uh, underneath Mario here. Um, so it senses when it goes over all the bad guys. Um, and then, yeah, these, these two servos here, uh, it's pretty straightforward. They're hooked up to um, a couple of servo boards on the Tigduino. Um, the other servo that opens the box is here, just a little popsicle stick uh, to open it. Uh, yeah, and then we have a piezo speaker you can see kind of inside here. So all the sounds that we're generating are just out of this little guy. Um, and then we have one embedded LED, which is a little hard to see, but it's tucked under here, so it kind of blinks as the levels get uh, faster and more difficult. And yeah, that's really all there is to it. <laughs>